Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of this series where we're going to create a Tetris game. So, uh, the first requirement for this series is to have basic uh, knowledge. If you're good with that, uh, you're ready to go. So, I'm going to start creating a new project. So, go to File. If you're in Eclipse, New, Java Project, and call this Tetris. Y, just Y is for YouTube. And quickly, let's create our first class. I'm gonna name it this window, and I'm gonna check the public static void main, like so. And let's start. So first, I'm gonna create an object of this class, just to start. And here, I'm gonna set the constructor, and well, we could extend this window class from JFrame, but I prefer just to create an object. That way we can uh, switch for menus if you're going to create those. So, JFrame window. Okay, I'm going to make this private. And here I'm going to set the uh, general values for JFrame, which is First, it initializes, so I'm going to pass here the title oh. J frame and uh, yes, Tetris. What's this error? Oh, okay, I missed the new. Okay, now I'm going to set the size. Okay, so window.set size. And I'm going to create two public variables here. I'm going to make the static so we pretty much can access from anywhere. So, pre public static final int width and height. Okay, I'm going to initialize them. So, I'm going to make equal 300 pixels. And the high, the double, which will be. 600. Okay, so we pass here the width and we pass height. Now I'm going to set the full close operation just so we can close the window whenever we check. We click at the X button. button. So window set resizable. We don't want to resize a window so make it equal to false now window set location I mean sorry set location relative to new now let's what's I'm missing window dot set visible and set equal to true okay okay so we're pretty much ready with our window class so let's go ahead and create sorry create another class I'm gonna call this board oops yes all right and I'm going to extend this from JPanel and Control Shift O to import it. And let's start creating here the constructor. Okay, and we're going to define the paint component. So we just say public void paint paint component and we pass graphics object called G. Control Shift O again to import graphics, and we're gonna call the parents super dot paint component, and we pass G. Okay, so we're in, we're ready to start drawing objects here. Just an example. I'm gonna say G dot draw uh, square and uh, red. 
and make 100, 100. This is just for testing purposes. Make 50 by 50. Okay, so now go to your window class and create a board, an object of the class which is created, which is board, and call this board. Initialize it over here, so board is equal to new board, and add it to the window, so window dot add component board. Okay. Now run your code, and you can see the square we created. So now we're ready to start uh, working on the Tetris. Okay, so first we need our Tetris uh, sprites. So let's right-click the new uh, project and set new folder and I'll call these textures like so finish and here is where you're gonna locate all your uh, textures or sprites but we need to add it to the boy path so right click whoops sorry background noise right click select uh, boy path configure a boy path uh, go to add class folder go to your project and select the folder that which which is created and okay, set ok we can see apply and say ok and as you can see the the folder now has a, an icon which means uh, it's added to the build path so now we need to locate our image or sprite to that folder so I got this sprite here and I'm going to add it just like don't know you see and copy and now we have it there I call this tiles.png. Okay. All right. Let's continue with this. Go to the board class and delete this test code. And go and create a private buffer image. And let's go. I'm gonna call this blocks. And Control Shift O to import it. And now we're going to initialize it, so we're going to say blocks is equal to image io dot read, and here we're going to say new file. It's, I'm not. Mm, no, I'm sorry. I th I thought I was forgot. It's image io dot read, and here you put the name of your class in this case board dot class dot get resources and in here slash and just the name of the image not the folder just the image so slash will be tiles dot png don't forget the ex dot png extension okay and it's going to throw our error because we need to surround it with a try catch team in case any error happened. Okay. Okay, so at this point we already loaded the block the blocks image, so we're gonna draw it just to see if it works. So G dot draw image and we're gonna say blocks blocks uh zero zero and we just leave null of the observer and when you're in code there is our reference image for the uh, Tetris shapes uh, okay I'm gonna leave it to here and we're gonna keep on the next tutorial uh, see you then